All right, welcome in to the weekly Coach Mark Schmidt Show, presented as always by Aria Health, your hospital in Lower Bucks County, as well as Faulkner Auto Group right there on the Street Road in Trevos, and NishamityFootball.com. 35 nothing win over Council Rock South uh, this week. Two trips back up to Walt Snyder Stadium. Uh, you know, like you mentioned, there was a, a time where that place was not kind to you guys in the last couple of years, but. Uh, Back-to-back -back weeks up there, pretty impressive performance. You got to feel good about your uh, team. I was happy with it. I mean, we had a very good week of practice. So, you know, the defense, they, I think they were, in general, they weren't happy with their performance the week before. It felt that there were some things that they left out there. And they were really tuned in on what was happening with this offense, and, which you, you have to be. Sure. And uh, you know, I was happy that the offense, you know, we were able to create some plays. And it's nice to see our special teams get busted. You know, Cole's been... You know, really on the, right on the edge of getting one out of there. And, uh, you know, our guys take a lot of pride in, in making him. That, that's, a, that's a big offensive play for us. So, you know, we were able to do that. And uh, on a good note, it was, it was an in, a key injury there to uh, Rock's house quarterback. And happy to hear that he's doing well. And, and uh, all tests are, are positive for him to, you know, to have a recovery. And, and uh, wish him the best. Uh, we'd be remiss if we didn't talk about DeAndre Pollard's uh, career day on uh, Friday. He's really just uh, come out of nowhere beginning this year. I shouldn't say come out of nowhere. We, we saw a glimpse of him last year. Um, but, uh, man, he's come on 1,200 yards yeah. rushing and a, a career day last week. Yeah, I feel good what you got from the junior well, the back best, there. The best thing about DeAndre Friday night was what he said after the game. And, um, you know, I mean, uh, he's a talented football player. He can run. He's, he's got good speed. He's, he's worked hard in the weight room. He, you know, those are things that... He was really lacking a little bit. He wasn't very strong. He was talented, but he just wasn't very strong, and, and uh, you know, hardened like we wanted him to be. Sure. And uh, but the comments he made about the offensive line and especially the wide receivers. I mean, he broke two or three runs there that were big. That you know, big runs that you know, our, our wide receivers did a marvelous job getting right. downfield and, and creating for him. And he was very quick to point that out to the to the reporters and such, and which made me very proud that you know it's. He gets the the big picture, and you know, right. and, and you know those those wideouts. They, um, you know, because if you hit those and it's thirty five, you know, we're not throwing it, sure. but uh, because and that's not how we that's not how we operate. So they take pride in that, and you know, Keith Ennis gets on their butt big time about that stuff, and all those guys, you know, Ham and and Denzel and and uh, Cole and Jr. You know, really have, have really done a great job of getting down there and getting after those D backs. Tyler Wombo, we could go at a kind of career day passing against Council Rock North. He came out and just well, from so, uh, so far. So far. I'm, hope, so, I'm sorry. He's a very superstitious sure year at Nishamity. So. Well, you know, <laughs> you like to just throw these things. Well, I, that's, what, that's what Mini does. We well, sensationalize the guys played things. Seven play games we just started. We mean, sensationalize things. Let's hope he can play better than that, for God's sake. <laughs> Jesus, man. Okay, so a pretty good game against Council Rock North. Uh, it came back Council Rock South. Just looked a lot more confident, like throwing the football. Just from from my vantage point, I don't know if you saw that as well. Just uh, it just a little more zip was on the ball, and he, he at times looked more confident to kind of run it when the play broke down, yeah. and it just looks like he's coming to his own now. Like you said, week seven, week eight. Uh, yeah. the, the only thing that we talked about afterwards and the next day was, you know, I, I, he didn't allow that game to kind of slow down a little bit. He just right. it looked like he was a little bit. It was a half a step, you know, hurrying a little bit. He just needed to relax in some uh, some situations, and he had some time to deliver, and you know, and it was a little little quick on it. And um, but all in all, you know, Ty Tyler's doing you know so far what we've been able asking him to do. And, you know, we, I feel remiss that you know we haven't had Mason get a little as many more reps because he's yeah. certainly a talented young man. But um, you know, we're 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 trying to get everybody prepared, and these big plays are kind of. Been, it's been different this year. This is something we haven't had to deal with in the last couple of years. As the season gets uh, you know deeper and deeper, little nuance to the game become more important. Special teams obviously is one of them. Uh, you know we've talked uh, about you know Blake Sullivan kicking off and Dylan McDonald, a freshman, having extra points. Uh, but a guy that I think is really good at flipping the field for you guys, just doing a phenomenal job, at least from from my view, putting. Uh, Chris Watson, man, right. good week this week as well. Another one, yeah. You know Chris is and you know Chris kind of. He, he kind of brings along Dylan, and uh, you know both these guys are very, very, very pleasant surprises, and uh, they have a great approach to to what they're doing, and they like it. They're into it, and uh, you know, and it's not 
when they don't have a soccer game. And as soon as soccer's over, they come running. And I mean, they really are into it. And um, you know, I, I'm, I'm proud of both of them for their, you know, for their dedication. Every week we try to set the schedule, and then of course something happens with a rain, rain right. out or something. So our, we get, we kind of have to make do when we can. Mm -hmm. But um, both guys have been. You know, marvelous with that, and you know, improving, you know, weekly, and you know, we we, we really hope that uh, that that stays that way too. And it's got to be cool knowing they're playing a soccer program that's you know going for a state title, going for a district title, and they have enough time in their schedule and mentally right. can do that, and coming out on a Friday night in front of two, three, fifteen hundred people and, and and play good football. That's well, you, you know, and, and and we try to keep them rested. We don't try to overdo it. And um, you know, they this week, you know, shoot, they've been. They've been the last two weeks. They've been either rained out or right. playing. So uh, they had a lot of makeups because I think their their seating is next weekend. Mm -hmm. So so they're they're kind of against the wall. So they're, they're they're going full full tilt here. So we get them tomorrow. We hope is the one open date that uh, in their in their schedule that week that, um, that we'll have them. So we'll we'll just you know get them crisp again and get them going. I try not to overdo it and then uh, they'll be ready for Friday. Before we talk about uh, Ben Salem, this Friday night, senior night here at Heartbreak Ridge, we want to talk about the defense once again. We mentioned 35 nothing. another shutout for the uh, defense, defensive staff, and uh, some good guys. Uh, talk about them as a whole. They've just been uh, really impressive yeah, so far this I mean, year. Uh, it, was, it was funny. I mean, we, the whole week long, they, they had a great plan together, and uh, I'm, I'm kind of jumping in a little bit with, with uh, the D-line, just making sure with Tom and, and I that we get two sets of eyes on, the, on that crew, and, you know, we talked to first series they were just yeah. ripping us and we're like what the heck it was on the other side of the field and you know one guy just was in that offense one guy was had his helmet inside instead of outside and they were able to wall it and you know and then that we made that adjustment and it's amazing how you know you just kind of got to just kind of kick somebody in the tail a little bit and um, you know and uh, all everybody settled down and all of a sudden you know we really you know got a good handle on things and Played a little more downhill, and they looked like they were having more fun. Last right. two weeks ago, they were really kind of, I think, on their heels a little bit, and you know, worried about too much stuff as opposed to just being confident in what they were doing. And and this week, they really just looked like they were, you know, playing together and feeling good. And that's you know that, that that's kind of the way it's been when we've been cooking. So uh, you know, I'm I'm very happy to see them on track. And, these next three weeks are huge for them. You mentioned how how much this year the guys care. You know, they go to games. They know who's winning in the league. They know who's losing. And we've seen at halftime or after that first drive, like you said, a little tweak here and there, and the guys respond to it. And all of a sudden, you see a different change. Uh, credit to them, man. Yeah. Well, it's you know, and the the cool part is you know, Neil takes the linebackers and Tom has the D line, and you know, I'll jump in and pretty much yell. <laughs> uh, and Jay handles the same. I mean, and, and, and you know, Dave's upstairs giving great, giving us great, you know, responses and great information as to personnel and fronts and stuff. Right. So, so you know, they've been together so long. But um, you know, this crew, you know, Denny and Cole and you know Devin now and you know and Luke and those guys up front. I mean, you know, they they kind of police themselves right. and you know it, it doesn't have to be a lot of stuff going on. And, you know, that's. It's what you want from sure. a, from a veteran team and from a team that has some experience, and they're they're all starting to settle down in their own little areas. And you know, as, as you know, we made comment, it was Denny Lords, I think, forty fifth or sixth start. But wow. yeah, but it was you know what though, though Matt, it was Denny's it was Denny's seventh game as a middle sure. linebacker. You're I mean, right. the whole the whole game is different, and you know how he's responded to that, and how Cole has responded up here in the front, you know, playing that side. Broken inside, you know. Deion, Denzel, and, and uh, Dorian has been playing all this year, yeah. last year. So, you know, Denzel's brand new at secondary. So Mags is new. So I mean, look, man, and they're just playing, and, and it's it's a, it's a good thing. Just just see them kind of get it and understand it. And same thing goes on the offense. You know, seeing some guys start to, like you said, settle down and kind of just allow things to occur. So uh, hopefully, you know, that's what we're talking about a lot. Sure. So it's out there. And they grasp that, and they, you know, digest it and kick it in gear. Well, kick it in gear they will do this Friday night, hopefully. Senior night at Heartbreak Ridge at Harry E. Franks Memorial Stadium. Kickoff at 7 o'clock on 1490 WBCB as well as WBCB 1490 
dot com. We got a double dip this week, you know. So we got we're live, man. So we got to come with some some real real fire, all right? Because we got to be ready. So when we come back. We'll talk about Ben Salem and Senior Night as well. A lot of varsity uh, seniors on this group of mention. Right after this, here on the Coach Mark Schmidt Show, presented as always by Aria Health, as well as Faulkner Auto Group and NishamityFootball.com. We'll be right back. At an orthopedic institute, world-class specialists, surgeons, and technology are a must. Personal care is too. The Aria 3B Orthopedic Institute is redefining care in Center City, Bucks County, and South Jersey. With over a century of experience, the 3Bs, Drs. Booth, Bartolozzi, Balderston, and their partners personally guide you from treatment through recovery. For joint replacement, sports medicine, spine care, and more, call 1-888-ORTHO-3B or visit aria3borthoorg At the Aria 3B Orthopedic Institute, you come first. If you are looking for a new car, where do you go? Faulkner Auto Group at 4427 Street Road in Trevos is where to go. For the best deals in Bucks County for all of your new or pre-owned cars, trucks, or SUVs, go to Faulkner Auto Group. It is always Faulkner to be sure. You can also always go to www.faulknerautogroup.com. Just remember, this year, it's Faulkner Auto Group for your new car or truck. 4427 Street Road in Trevos to be sure. Faulkner Auto Group. 215-364-7720. Faulkner Auto Group, a proud supporter of Neshaminy High School football. Mark Schmidt Show is brought to you in part by NeshaminyFootball.com, a proud supporter of Neshaminy Football. Whether it's 2013 team information or look back at Neshaminy's 85-year football history, make it NeshaminyFootball.com. All right, welcome back into the Coach Mark Schmidt Show, presented as always by Aria Health, your hospital in Lower Bucks County, as well as Faulkner Auto Group right there on Street Road in Trevos and NeshaminyFootball.com. This week, Ben Salem comes to Hardback Ridge Senior Night. Before we talk about Ben Salem, I want to um, just kind of get your feel. It's senior Night's a big night for all the guys that you mentioned. Yeah. Danny Lord starting his 43rd or 45th career uh, start. Cole Creighton, yeah. all these guys have been here a while. It's going to be a special night for all them uh, seniors. As it should be, and um, you know, um, in their in their respect, we brought it. We made it very clear to them that um, you know they're in control. This is their night that they're being honored, but uh, they have the op they're in control of this. Maybe not being their last home game. Sure. And um, you know that I don't think too many of those guys knew that. Right. And uh, that kind of jacked up practice a little bit, another edge. And uh, I was happy to see that. And uh, we just try to be up front with everybody and. Um, you know, um, there's no counting any chickens or whatever <laughs> they say that phrase, but uh, you know, uh, it, it, it's great. I mean, uh, uh, to play at our place is a very cool thing, and um, you know, I don't know what it's like to play at other places, right. but uh, you know, I know they make it very special, and the seniors, you know, they get honored with their families and and, uh, and before the game, and it's a, it's they get to go down the ramp and come through the, you know, come down the yard line with their families and. And uh, rightfully so. And um, it's people you know, look at this group, and you know, they, you know, it's nice to like the group. Sure. You know, they're they're yeah. a very likable group. They're a good bunch, and uh, they like each other, and um, and and they're great to their teammates. They're not, you know, they're not about I guys. They're not about the seniors. They're about everybody, yeah. and that's really cool. And uh, you know, the seniors. Drive in here on Saturday mornings. There's two or three underclassmen in almost every car. They're picking up along the way and stuff like that. So, so that's really cool. And then a couple of guys, seniors, are helping other kids with their homeworks and stuff like that. So you know, and, uh, that makes you feel like you know that, that, that these guys have a great future. I was going to say, as, as important as senior night is for all the all the guys playing their posture last home game at Heartbreak Ridge, it's got to be even a bigger week for those underclassmen that look up to them and say, I don't want these guys down. I want to well, play the best yeah, football I can. You're right. And we came right out and said that before we left Council Rock. Uh, you know, this week is for the seniors. And whoever, whether it's scout team, whether it's, you know, you're, you're playing in the same, in, in the same huddle with them, uh, <clears throat> all those things, you're playing for your senior teammates this week. And that's one week where you need to put everything aside and put it out there for them. Right. And, uh, and and this is a great year to do that. Um, you know, there's been years where it hasn't been as, you know, as, as, as fulfilling, I guess is a word I threw out. But, um, you know, this is certainly one where it has been. And I'm, sure. really, I'm looking for, I'm hoping these guys really, you know, keep, keep moving in that direction because they deserve it. 
couple senior guys we uh, we don't mention much. They don't get much accolades, but I promise I'm going to get them one post game. And they got some linemen up front: John Cook, Dan Johnson, two seniors. We don't mention a lot in the game. I mean, I'm sure you know them very well. But we don't mention a lot in the on the show or post game during the, or during games. Um, but uh, really, two senior guys that are just an, an important. Uh, Mike Palmer, other these linemen that maybe don't get Alex Nicholas, don't get the accolades that maybe they they should, but are just important cogs of this team. Well, every guy you just named. Um, I think their lowest GPA is a 3.5. Wow. Um, I, I think the times that all four of those names you just made, I mentioned uh, missed a weight room, you can count on two fingers. Um, they're just those guys. Right. And, um, you know, they're, they're just real good, solid young men. And, um, you know, and, and they get it and they understand. And, and the good news is, you know, one or two of the two or three of those guys you know, are coming into, are, are not happy with where they're playing right now. They're they're all keeping a level of, you know, they're they're not satisfied. And um, you know, I, this week was, hope we've been moving in a pretty good direction that way. And it, it doesn't take us to have to motivate. Right. You know, that's that's the part when you have guys that academically are that solid. You know, there's there doesn't have to be a whole lot of you know that stuff. And uh, they just show up knowing, hey, I got you know, I didn't play as good as I should have. And, I got to get better here, you know, and because and, um, they care, sure. I mean, they really, they really, all four of those guys you just mentioned, they hang it out, you know, every time they play, and um, they're marvelous young men, and uh, you know, there's plenty of other guys yes. that uh, that certainly deserve, you know, mention, but uh, those those are four great names that you chose. Uh, coming up this uh, Friday night, you mentioned Ben Salem taking on the Chamonix. Last year, you went over to Ben Salem uh, Memorial Stadium and had yourself a little shootout there. Yeah. Uh, uh, that uh, was a, really a crazy night, a crazy game. And uh, in, uh, we'll in, leave it at that. Yes, we will leave it at that. And uh, not a game I'm sure you're used to, a, a 40 to 30 victory in a sense. But uh, Ben Salem, you know, uh, I was talking to. On, Coach Neil French this week, he was, they always come to play, man, no matter what the yeah, record is. It's a great point, you know, and Kevin does, he brought out the best of that that club, and, um, you know, they, uh, I would have to say, you know, playing these guys 19 times, um, across the board, we get, year after year, I don't think there's a team that plays as tougher, right. and, um, you know, where the scores are really, you know, intense, and and uh, they play so darn hard, and they've, you know, they've got good players, gee whiz, and they're, they're big, they're, they're a big team. And, uh, you know, you, you saw them just really, they, they really established a line of scrimmage on both sides, and it's 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 uh, it's different than what we faced as far as, you know, the, the option and the responsibilities. Now it's like this guy and that guy, and you and you, and this guy and this guy, and it's time to just go get at it. Right. And, um, you know, I'm I'm excited to see how that goes, and I'm also a little bit, you know, I'm very I'm not concerned about sure. how it's going to go because now you know it's it, it, it's just a it's a board drill, man. Right. It's it's mano, mano a mano, yep. and all that stuff, and I love that kind of football. I was going to say for for you as a coach, it's got to feel good. No, jacked up, but you know, <laughs> and, I, and I hope they are. You know, um, you know the, the both coaches, you know, Steve on you know the O line and. And Neil and, and Tom and you know, we've talked about you know you get you better button up and because uh, they got two backs that run hard and you know the, they got a couple big tall wideouts that can you know they they're, catch those deep balls and, but that offensive line just gets in a stance and smacks you right. and uh, you know they they've got some uh, um, they, they've had some tough times there you know at, at hurting themselves but um, it always seems like you know. The, those type of things don't occur when we play. Yeah, you know? so right. uh, we'll have their best game. And uh, we're, we, they, our guys said that to us this year, this week. We didn't have to say it to them. So right. I think we've got their attention. Uh, you know, you get deep in the season, and, and some teams' uh, season goes one way and one goes another. Ben Sam obviously, unfortunately, will not make the playoffs this year, it no. appears. But they come in now as an even dangerous role because they're coming in trying to spoil your party, sure. your senior night. Sure. Um, you know, going now, going forward for the last couple of weeks, uh, teams are, are just trying to spoil your season, and you know how, how important it is to let your guys know that that hey, you know don't look at the record, look at the stats, because they're gonna, they're going to come here and give you well, their best. Again, you know, Monday and Tuesday, very good film sessions. Right. Uh, you know, our guys, the inside guys that we talked about, you know, yep. Palmer and, and uh, Johnson and Cook, and 
you know, those two D tackles are 300 pounds, 280, you know, they're big dudes, and they got three good linebackers that can run. They're very good outside at the end, one D end that Luke faced last week, last year. He's back. Uh, it's another, you know, another rematch. Uh, the other guy, I think, is actually better than the guy they had last year. Wow. So, so you know, they they got guys, and, and, and um, you know, there's nobody here walking around talking about records. I mean, yeah. I kind of wish the people in the halls in the community would keep their mouth shut because they don't seem to watch film. They seem to just look at scores and right. stuff. And and uh, but uh, Ben Salem is a team that uh, can certainly is you know chew up clock and and flip the field with that offense and. And really do some damage, and um, and then defensively they they play they they, they play to not to give up big plays, and you got to earn it. And uh, we need to be smart. We weren't last week. We fumbled inside the five. We fumbled yeah. inside the you know the fifteen yard line. So you know those things can't happen in this game. So we've got to know that. <clears throat> we'll see what happens here on Friday night, senior night at Heartbreak Ridge, Harry Franks Memorial Stadium. Everyone come on out. It's supposed to be a nice fall evening, a little chilly, but no rain I'm hearing, so that's a, that's a good thing. So a nice uh, senior night for all the uh, all the guys on this uh, group. Should be a really good night uh, for football. Um, the game will be on 1490 WBCB as well as WBCB1490.com. Good news going forward. 2-0 and you went last week for the first time all year. That's not good. Yeah, it's just, this could be very bad, and I could get in trouble for this somehow. That's not good. Um, you took Louisville. Did I take Louisville? Yeah, of course. He barely won. Hey, there was a well, that was, game. A, that was, I mean, that was. From the outsiders, yes. But they, yeah. Rutgers, you got to give them credit. They battled, well, man. I, you know, I didn't want, the last thing I wanted to do was well, I know that. fight against Paul. I know. But, you know, you kind of had to figure that in sure. Bridgewater, and he, you know, he apparently, uh, he wasn't the reason. Either. No. So. Birds went on Sunday. You go 2-0 this yeah. week. Uh, Saturday, huge game at Death Valley. Clemson, Florida State, two big-name quarterbacks, huge crowd, ACC battle. You don't wow. see, you're used to these SEC and Pac-12 battles. you got to make a nice ACC top 10 foes. Who do you like? Oh, I've always liked the Noles. Yeah? You know, but I tell you what, that, that, that tradition of the buses around the stadium. It's pretty cool, ain't down, it? Oh, it's... Touching the Howard's Rock. Yeah, you know, the game. only thing that would make it better. And it's at night, right? Yes, yes. Oh, the well, you know, gosh. <laughs> that just gives you chills thinking that's, about yeah, right, coming yeah. down that hill. That yeah. place is crazy. So, you know, that's... That, um, you could argue this is a little mini Death Valley. You go down a little, the little ridge right there. Oh, so, yeah. every, every, all we need is a rock at the end, yeah. and, and you got Death Valley you got North. Mustangs rock. That's right. Uh, there you go. Uh, but, uh, that, uh, Jameis Winston playing for Florida okay. State. Everyone's just okay. take them. You want to go with the Knowles. Knowles going to Death Valley and beating Clemson. Uh, Sunday does not get easier. We got Dallas coming to Philadelphia. Oh, yeah. Talk about a grudge match uh, of just huge proportions. Playoffs, division, all that. End of the day, it's Dallas, Philadelphia. And yeah. Um, you may this could be the most challenging pick you do because you may be just revered by the city or just hated by everyone if you pick Dallas. <laughs> so that's, you know, well, I don't think I'm going to do that because uh, you know I, uh, Foles is back in there and I, he you like him? Out. Yeah, what's not to like? He he runs the offense well. You know, you you, you sleep on him and he he pops it in for the first score on a on a draw play, which because everybody's running out and right. thinking he's not. You know, that's that's what you want. I mean, you know, he's but. Seems like that uh, the DNs. I read there's somewhere where Demarcus, he and the yeah. running back are both. Yep. Yeah. No, Demarcus Ware, or Demarco Murray. So yes, they, they can up. they can put three guys on Jason Witten, you know, and then maybe <laughs> two other guys on the, the other wide up. Miles Austin. No, or Des Bryant. I'm sorry. That's the guy. Yeah. yeah. He's pretty good. And Tony, you know, he seems like it. If it's close, he'll he'll find a way to booger it up. Unfortunately, but you uh, think Tony's a top five, <laughs> top ten quarterback in the NFL? Look, anybody that plays quarterback in the NFL is there's is, upper is echelon, and then there's the other level. Is he an upper echelon no. quarterback? No. Merrill can agree with him now because I we get these debates all the time. But Merrill, no, not, no, he does not think. No, so. uh, but ten, top ten. No. May, yeah, maybe like fringe, that eleven, twelve ish. Oh, well, sure. Area, yeah, yeah, not, yeah, not a top I ten mean, guy. Look at those dudes. Yeah, they Come can on, they man. can play. So I hope you're happy to hear and that. And you gotta, you, you gotta. I mean, look what Brady did. I mean, my goodness, against Breeze. It's a great game. You know, I mean, no timeouts. That's was thirty. It's thirty ninth, fourth, fourth quarter comeback. Yeah. I mean, who does that without a starter, without a with, with, without a without a returning player from last right. year? I mean, that's that's bizarre. I mean, and, uh, sure, that, those guys had to do their part, but my goodness, I mean. 
until he starts doing that, he, he can't, you, know, you got to plug Luck in there ahead of him. You got to plug in, you know, Russell. I don't know about Russell Wilson, but, <laughs> but you know, I. I hey, he's in the fringe. Eagles. Eagles. Hope they get going. Florida State. Can a high school coach watch an NFL or college game? Can you just watch it, or do you look at things and try to take it and try to duplicate it? Oh, sure. Time? Yeah. You know, sure. You like to look at things and see what they're trying to do. I mean, they're, they're so incredible. I mean, you know, the, the windows of the pass lanes and the and the throws. I mean, some of these throws that these guys are making, because the, you know, the D-backs are so good. Right. And, you know, and, and you know, the philosophy, you know, trying to free up the mm -hmm. tight ends and getting these guys, you know, getting matchups. It's all about matchups. So you're working on Sunday, Sam. You're not just enjoying the games. Well, no, I'm working on next week, but I, I, I try to sit down and watch okay. a little bit. My, my, my man Jack, he wants me to make sure that, you know, we hang out. There you Definitely go. do man. Get his fancy team set. Do man. He, yeah, he tells me how that's going. He <laughs> has Witten. I think he has oh, Romo. See, okay. So, uh, yeah. So I think well, good luck to Witten for his son, but not in the Yeah, uh, no, the heck, I hope the Eagles win. Shoot. I mean, I'd, I'd love to see Philadelphia cranked up. We'll see what happens here on Saturday and Sunday, and come on out on Friday night to see what happens between the Ben Salem Owls and the Neshaminy Redskins here on 1490 WBCB. So for Matt Miro, from 1490, for Coach Mark Finch from the Shamney, Aria Hell, Faulkner Auto Group, and the Shamney Football.com, signing off, saying we'll see you next week, everybody. Take care.